Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelisse. Let's get started. Hi, my crafty fam. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm super excited to show you how I turned these paper mache book boxes into beautiful faux decorative books that also serve as storage boxes. The first thing I did was create the look of the pages. I painted them white. And using a coarse paintbrush, I brushed over it while it was still wet. It really does give it the look of pages. I did this to all three. Next, I painted the small box baby pink and the other two with metallic silver. I gave them multiple coats, especially the silver ones. I should have primed them before adding the paint, but I was so excited to get started on them that I completely forgot. I wanted the middle box to be very sparkly, so I added silver glitter paint. I was trying to avoid the mess I make with the loose glitter, but after three coats of glitter paint, it still wasn't giving me the sparkle I was looking for. So I pulled out the loose glitter and did my thing. Now that's what I'm talking about. My glitter obsession was not well with that slight twinkle. I need my bling to blind me, please. <laughs> Once it was dry, I sealed it with my hairspray. Yes, you can use hairspray to help with glitter fallout. I ran out of glitter sealer, so I went back to my budget-friendly crafting roots and used my hairspray. Before I started experimenting with sealers, this is how I used to seal my glitter projects, and it always worked. I then sealed all the boxes with a coat of Mod Podge, leaving the faux page parts alone. I didn't want them to have a glossy look because they wouldn't look so realistic. And before I added all the embellishments, I lined the inside with white crafting felt. Now that they're all done, it's time to jazz them up to pull the whole design together. You might find that your paint chips at the crease line, so consider that when you're coming up with your design. I'm not worried because I'm going to be covering them up with washi tape and bling wrap. Thankfully, the glitter one didn't have that problem. Now it's time for my favorite part, adding all the bling.
And here they are, all finished. I love how they turned out. They're exactly how I had envisioned them. These are simple and cheap to make, and I got most of the supplies at the Dollar Tree. The rest was also affordable. I used the paper mache boxes because I needed them to serve a purpose. These are going on my new desk, and it doesn't have any drawers, so they will provide storage while looking like decorative books. If you don't need the storage aspect of these, you can simply repurpose some old books and save some money. I painted mines, but you can cover them using any materials. For example, you can use a Dollar Tree gift bag to make a book cover. You can also cover them with fabric, gift wrapping paper, and the list goes on. Be creative and find the most economical way to make your decor pieces. These are the second decor pieces I've made for my desk and I can't wait to finish and see it all put together. A few weeks ago, I showed you how I made this decanter that will also be displayed on my desk. Which reminds me, if you're having trouble with notifications or want to receive bonus videos with no intros, no fancy edits, and simple straight to the point shorts on specific techniques, then sign up for the email list by sending an email to craftyfamnotifications at gmail.com. I only send out notifications when I drop a new video, so you don't have to worry about spam. 
I'm currently waiting for a few more people to join before I drop the first video that will only be available to those who joined the email list. It's all free, so come join us. Thanks for watching. I almost forgot. I recorded this video with a new camera. You guys, I'm super excited. I'm feeling great about the footage, but I want to hear from you. Do you guys think this footage is better than my previous one? Let me know down below. All right, that's it for this video. I hope that it inspired you to create something of your own. Just as long as you remember to have fun, be creative, and make a mess. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos.